Well, listen guys, I'm really sorry we didn't get to do our uh, ship improvement. We can do a quick one. I mean, I've been here a little while. You guys not sick of me yet? We can do a really quick one. What ship shall we do? Give me, give me an idea. Just a quick ship makeover. Oh, the Hellenic Prince. <laughs> the floating kitchen knife. Oh, you're really gonna make me do the Hellenic Prince. All right. Um, okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do the Hellenic Prince, guys. Yep. There's a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of Hellenic Prince stuff going on. Yeah, Hellenic Prince. Okay, we're going. How am I going to do this? This is this ship is unfixable. Oh man, this is gonna be so tough. I said a quick one. This this, this isn't quick. Ah. Unfixable sounds like a true challenge. Where do you even start with this? All right, okay. Um, I've got some ideas. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is kind of like, obviously shift the kitchen knife situation. Um, so we're going to take the entire superstructure, like this whole chunk of superstructure here. We're going to copy that and paste it. We're gonna lift it up. Um, so it's about maybe there-ish kind of. This will make sense in a minute, trust me. So already the ship looks a little bit more like a normal, a normal ship. <laughs> Cut and paste the JVO over the image. Oh no, I got an idea. I got an idea. How many of you know what I'm about to do? And I fixed it. <laughs> uh, never gets old. We are going to keep this promenade here. We're going to get rid of this one though, because um, she doesn't need it. And what I want to do is raise this part of the stern up. Uh, with that bit there to about there. So she's still got her cruiser stern because I think the cruiser stern is very, very uh, handsome. And then we're going to um, fix this bit now. You know, it's, this is going to be a little rough, but you get the idea. That's, I mean, close enough. You guys, you know what I'm going for here. That's just like, that's the ship's cruiser stern. Okay, very good. All right, and then we're going to just simply uh, get rid of that as well. Unfortunately, the rust I can't fix. Uh, we're just going to come in over the top. This is like Bob Ross, but for ships. And then look at the happy little portholes. Happy little portholes here, guys. And um, remember, there are no mistakes, only, only happy little accidents. Except in the case of the Hellenic Prince, because the entire ship was a mistake. Roughly there. I mean, again, very, very rough. Very, very rough. Uh, we're gonna put those there, and then another layer there. Okay. Now, the other issue with this ship is that the superstructure is a little too a little too far aft for my liking. So what I'm gonna do is try. <laughs> this is going to be hard to Photoshop. I'm gonna try and copy and paste this bit. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna shrink it down a little bit because it's now further away from the camera. Uh, we'll put it about there and get rid of that much of it. And then this part, I'm just going to straight up delete this part of the superstructure, but try and keep those lifeboat davits intact. Sorry guys, very rough. This isn't gonna be pretty, but it wasn't pretty to begin with. So if this ends up looking like a dog's breakfast, it's not my fault. This does look like a mess, but bear with me while I just fix this up real quick. Uh, that'll do, Pika, that'll do. This ship may yet prove to be unfixable, but I am absolutely going to do my best. We're gonna give her a second funnel here. So this is already, it's not great. It's not great, but it does look a little bit more like a, like a, a liner, right? Like, come on. I mean, that was that was a pretty horrendous looking, looking ship. It looks like Canton. Yeah, it looks like a, a P and O ship. Um, what we want to do, I guess, is maybe like an aft mast. I think we'd balance that out. So I'm not, I'm not even gonna like Photoshop that. I'm just gonna come in very roughly and dump that in. That's, I mean, that's not bad. I. I it's still all hull, you know what I mean? Like, um, I'm not thrilled by the fact that it's all hull, but I can't can't add any superstructure because there's just nothing to get rid of those. The boats, like the, 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 the ship is a mess by its very nature, you know what I mean? I don't think there's anything else I can do to this. <laughs> I think this is honestly the best you're gonna get out of the Hellenic Prince. Well, maybe add like a little smoke coming out of the funnels. I don't know if you guys have any more ideas. I, I truly think this is like the best we can get. What's bugging me is this is this promenade. Like, not a fan. Uh, I wonder if you continued this forward, like, nah, that looks even more utilitarian. 
Jeez. All right, no, get rid of that. That was a bad idea. <sighs> Let's do a before and after and see just because, again, when you're doing these, um, it's easy to kind of like get lost in, you know, trying to make it look really good, but you forget what it looked like before, uh, before you started. So here, here's the before. And there's the after. What do you guys think? <laughs> make it make it less kitchen knife like I did I did make it less kitchen knife like what are you talking about before okay there you go before after again it's not pretty it's not pretty but it does the job and it looks a lot less like a knife what do you mean make it less kitchen knife like how could I how could I make the, how could I possibly improve this there's nothing else I can do no I'm, I'm calling it this is done improved it the, I know the promenade makes it look like a kitchen knife, but I, I don't think I can get rid of it. I mean, short of like... Alright, let's plate over. What we're gonna do, we're gonna plate over the promenade just to see if it looks any better, alright? I think it's gonna look more... boxy. I don't like it. I don't like it, guys. It's just boxy. Maybe, maybe if you had like a nice little... little elegant promenade, like one of these ones, you know? Oh, that's nicer. There you go. Okay. All right. We'll we'll split the difference. We'll call. We'll say that's that's a, a lot nicer, right? That's nice. That's okay. That you know, honestly, this now just looks like one of those like um, fifties budget cruise ships that they had operating. Should we rename it as well as is tradition when we do these kinds of things? We'll give it um, because this is no longer the Hellenic Prince. Do you do you do you two think God stays in heaven because he fears what he has created? <laughs> I, listen guys, you know what? I'm gonna say we did a good job with the kitchen knife. I think, um, I think that's an improvement. Uh, you know, part of why this looks so horrendous, I just realized, is that we didn't touch the funnels. I forgot to improve the livery on the, uh, on the funnels. No wonder it looks terrible. Let's just get in here real quick and fix these up. We'll give it, you know what, we'll even give it nice little black tops and get rid of that awful soot residue on top of the funnels. Just to make a, there you go, that's quite nice. And you know what, I wonder, if, even if we gave her a black hull, I'm sure she'd look pretty. Let's try that out. Give the hull a little love. Look at that. That's better. Hey. Before. After. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. The kitchen knife was, was born today. In fact, I'm just going to highlight the name. Pick it out in, in gold. There we go. Maybe drop the opacity on that. There you go. Top impressive line says, now it kind of looks like the Multan. Yeah, I agree. Listen, I, I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to call this improved. Are you not entertained? <laughs> the more I squint at it, it looks a little bit Homeric y. We, we accidentally made a white star liner. Damn it. Live, uh, pool. Kitchen knife -ic. There you go. She's a white star liner. There you go. That's the running mate to Homeric. Um, I'm going to go and make a coffee. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys soon. Ciao.